Nine months ago, I was a solid but short hitting golfer. My average drivers measured 93 mile an hour club head speed and only 220 yards of carry. Back then, I started a journey to improve that. I documented the process on my channel using a home training program and super speed golf sticks. In the first six weeks, I got my swing speed up to 100 miles per hour and an average carry of 242 yards. After 10 weeks, that increased to 102 miles an hour and 251 yards. And by 14 weeks, I hit 104 miles an hour average club head speed and 258 yards carry. Then I stopped. For six months, I didn't touch the super speed sticks or do any real exercise. That was until five weeks ago when this arrived in the post, the Super Speed C Club. I knew I had a short window of time where I wouldn't be able to play much golf, but I would be able to fit in super speed training. If you've seen my journey so far, this video is all about the results. Part two. This is the Super Speed C Club. It's more like the weight of a regular driver, but they've put more of that weight in this red section above the grip. And the whole idea of this is counterweight training. It's going to help you with hand speed, arm speed. Well, that's the claim. So for these six weeks, I'm going to be following the level one protocol, which is on the super speed website. I'm going to be keeping everything as consistent as I can to all of the training I've done before. So that means training at home, training on the mat, when I'm testing balls, hitting them into the net at home. Also using the PRGR, great for telling you club head speed and distance. And whether you think it's perfectly accurate or not, it's exactly the same setup that I did at the start of my super speed training. It's what I did after the six weeks, it's what I did after the three months. So all the numbers should be super consistent to what I've been seeing all the way along. And so we'll know whether there's any actual benefits in this. Before my first training session, I jumped back in the net and went through every club in the bag to get my numbers. And I was mostly pleased to see that without having maintained the super speed training, my club head speeds and distances hadn't really seen much of a drop off. And my driver was still averaging 102 miles per hour and 251 yards of carry. So then it was time to get into C club training. First session. 136 mile an hour club head speed. And if you did watch my first set of training on this, you'll know at the end of the, the final block of training, I had to put so much effort in to get up to 130 with my best swing and to get past 130. Well, this is first session after months of doing nothing, 136. So that obviously suggests there is something to this red weight, to this counterweight training. Whether that makes any difference to the club head speed when you're on the course, that's what we'll find out. Five weeks later, and I was able to stick to all of the training sessions. So that's three times a week, eight to 10 minutes per session with the C Club. Like I said in that first session, this definitely goes faster. Every session I had swings in the 130s, and over the five weeks, my best swing was 139 miles per hour. Definitely feels like you can break into the 140s with this club. But does that translate into extra speed and distance on the golf course? jump back in the net to remeasure all of the clubs in the bag see where all of my swing speeds and distances were at and this time i wasn't sure what to expect because i hadn't been playing golf in five weeks so it was the unknown for me here are all of my iron averages compared to when we started this training phase and you'll see that in club head speed and carry distance on the whole i've either stayed the same or made some small gains so i'm really pleased with that but honestly, I see this as being more about the woods and that's somewhere where you can get more of an immediate change. Off the tee is also where I see that my scores can be improved and this data from ShotScope highlights that. This is numbers showing a scratch golfer's average tee shot distance when their score is birdie or better, par or worse, double bogey or worse. And you'll see that birdies is 259 yards on average, double bogey is 233 yards. And given I started all of this around the 220 yard carry, you'll see why I think that drivers, woods, off the tee, is an area that I need to improve in my game. So what about the woods? Well, after the training with the C Club, my five wood went from 99 miles per hour 212 yards carry as an average, up to 101 miles per hour and 215 yards of carry. So three yard gain on the five wood. 
In terms of the three wood, that was also originally 99 miles per hour club head speed and 223 yards of carry on average. And I was able to get that up to 101 miles per hour club head speed, but this time 231 yards of carry. So I've picked up eight yards on the three wood, which I'm really pleased about. Now, when it comes to the driver, I know this really interests people. So I'll quickly throw up the 15 shots that I used to create the average. And you can see the data for yourself if you stop the video. I've also tried to get these two swings to look at the swing plane just from before I started the training compared to after the training. And I do start to see positives in this. I've always been someone that's cast the golf club. And for me, this is really the first training aid that I've come across that I feel actually helps counter that cast in the golf swing at the top and starts to get me heading in the right direction. Ultimately, we started out at 102 miles per hour club head speed, 251 yards of carry on average. And after using the C club, what we've managed to see in the averages is that's gone up to 105 miles per hour club head speed, 255 yards of carry. So that's gain of four yards. And I know there'll be some people out there that might think, okay, four yards isn't a great amount. For me, there's a couple of things to keep in mind here. Firstly, progress is progress. I'm quite pleased with that. But secondly, I really haven't done anything else during this training period. I've barely swung a golf club and I've done no other training. And normally after taking a break like that from playing golf, I'm not expecting to see gains. So something with the C-Club training has actually taken my game potentially a little bit further forward whilst not playing. I'll see a big positive in that. Other things I've seen is that my smash factor dropped off in the averages from afterward the training compared to the start. And I don't know whether there's an adjustment in place here because there is a slight change in the movement I need to adjust to. But what I feel like I've seen here is that there were five swings in those averages that I've used, which were in the 107, 108 mile an hour swing speed area. So that's good progress for me. There was also over 260 yards of carry on those shots. So I think the training aid is creating speed. I perhaps just need to adjust to that once I get back playing more regularly. And I think there's quite good potential with this club. I also would say that with the original swing speed sticks, I think you can make some big gains. I think perhaps this is more about that extra couple of percent that you can pick up. And I really think there's a good place for this training aid alongside the original super speed sticks. And what interests me is that I've found on the website a protocol for doing twice a week with the original super speed sticks, once a week with the C club. But I think for me, I actually feel like that could be the combination that's really going to work for me. And what I do need to confess is that I filmed most of this training five weeks ago before I went on holiday. So now I'm back in Sydney, my thought process is I'm going to do what I've just said. I'm gonna train twice a week with the Super Speed Original Sticks, once a week with the C-Club. I'm gonna follow that protocol and I'm gonna see where that gets me to. If you want me to show you the results once I've finished the protocol, see what happens, let me know. Make sure you jump into the comments, leave a like, whatever's easiest for you on the video. And if there's enough interest, I'll definitely do the journey and I'll definitely give you an update.